Hi everybody, I'm Alex from the Michigan School of Apologetics. And today I wanna to talk to you about uh, something we hear all the time, this question of how can Jesus be the only way? It's interesting, that question is really only half the question. The whole question is how can Jesus be the only way to heaven? Or how can Jesus be the only way to God? Well, if you ask the average person, what do you think God is like? They might say things like, well, he's good or he's holy or he's righteous. Or even if you ask the atheist, hypothetically, what do you think God is like if he exists? And I would imagine most of them would say, well, he's probably good or just or something to that effect. So now let me ask you, the viewer, a question. Do you think that moral crimes should be punished? I would say yes, hopefully. Well, I would agree. But I have another question. Have you ever committed a moral crime? If so, that's a problem. So you see, God is over here being perfect and righteous and just, and then you and I are over here being not perfect and not good. So you see, the, the problem is not that people believe the wrong God or have the wrong religion. What keeps people out of heaven is their sin. It's the separation between them and God. So how can Jesus be the only way is actually quite simple. He's the only one who deals with this problem. And we see this in the New Testament when Jesus comes to earth and he dies on a cross to pay for people's sin. And then he offers forgiveness for anyone who would take him up on that offer. But there's one more element to this question. And that is that Jesus makes these very interesting claims. He says things like, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life, and that no one comes to the Father but through him. Or he says things like, I am the resurrection and the life. Or he says something very interesting. He says, before Abraham was, I am. And what he's doing there is identifying himself as Yahweh, as the God of the Old Testament. But one more thing that Jesus says, I think, is even more interesting. He says in John 2, 19, to tear down this temple, and in three days, I'll raise it up again. Or in other words, kill me, and I'll come back from the grave. So Jesus claims not only to be God, he claims to have the power over death, but then he claims that he will back that up with a resurrection. And if you know history, you know that he died at the hands of the Romans and that three days later, he appeared to his disciples and then to a whole bunch of other people. So Jesus' resurrection proves that he's telling us the truth about who he is and about having the power to give eternal life. So the question of how can Jesus be the only way is really simple. Jesus is God. And if he's God, well, then of course he's the only way to heaven. Of course he's the only way to God. So hopefully that's helpful to you. Hopefully you can think about these things and it will encourage you. Thanks for watching.